do you struggle with time management? <laughs> uh, I am the significant other of someone who has written a blog on time management. Uh, but yes, I, I struggle with time management. Uh, I am uh, like, <laughs> I, yeah, you've, you've tried over the years to fix my time management uh, problems. Uh, but yes, I, I do struggle with time management. I struggle with, um, I struggle with actually sticking to the to-dos that are listed on my calendar. I struggle with, uh, you know, not getting distracted with other tasks that may be on my plate. Um, I struggle with uh, my email inbox getting converted into a to-do list, which means you don't have control over your to-do list. Uh, it means that you know, new tasks get added to your to-do list without your um, conscious choice. Uh, so yeah, I struggle with a lot of those things. Um, do you struggle with time management? No, um, I'm lucky because I don't really have um, other commitments like kids. Um, so that gives me a lot more freedom. Um, if I can't finish something but need to, I can do it through the evening. Um, so yeah, that hasn't been that hasn't yeah. really. Yeah. Hasn't been a problem. Um, do you struggle with time management? No. Uh, likewise, um, I don't. But I think part of that is that most things that people want me to do, I do not do. Um, I think uh, the biggest part of time management is not efficiently packing all the tasks you do and, and scheduling them in a, uh, in a clever way. Really the biggest part is making the binary decisions on which tasks you are going to do, which tasks you are going to take on. Mm -hmm. So when you get to a certain level, many people will want you to do many things, uh, most of which you don't need to do. Uh, and so really the most important part of time management is just not taking on most things that I could take on, not doing most things that various people want me to do. Um, I don't respond to most email, uh, for example. It, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, so with that, with being very strict about that, um, there is no problem doing the things that I do decide to do. Right, right. Makes sense. Um, do you struggle with time management? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, right now, it's, uh, I, I mean, I'm sure that it happens to you too, but uh, it happens to me quite often that I realized that I scheduled two or three important meetings at the same time. <laughs> and there is, I have to go to the three of them. Now you can actually ha do it because you can, open three, you can put three, <laughs> three, three Zoom meetings and, and have the three going on in parallel. But uh, it has happened to me before you know, this time. So it was, it was quite painful and you have to make up excuses. Um, Yes, and it has happened to me actually that sometimes there is a very important meeting I have to go and I go there and I'm skipping some other things that were also important and I go there and no, that's not the day it's happening, that meeting. <laughs> so I just lost everything. <laughs> <laughs> it has happened to me several times, this. <laughs> um, do you struggle with time management? Time management? Um... I know, same thing, I don't struggle. I could do better, but I don't really struggle because um, I also tend to, I don't have too much trouble saying no to things when I don't have enough time. Hmm. And I think that's the like number one reason why people struggle is they have tried to fit too much stuff compared to the space they have. Mm -hmm. And I have this awesome device called procrastination that helps me not spend too much time on things. So. <laughs> I mean, somehow it works out. But uh, overall, I kind of, I think I have a reasonably good idea of, of, of uh, how long um, 
how long things will take me in general. Mm -hmm. So uh, with the added padding that whatever I think I have to multiply by 1.5 or something mm -hmm. and, and then it kind of works out okay. Yeah. Um, so no, I, do, I don't feel like it's a big problem. Now, of course, I, I could do better and it's not optimal, but I am very happy with my imperfect way mm -hmm. of dealing with time. Yeah, yeah. Do you struggle with time management? Yeah, it goes together with that. Right. Again, it's not, I think of this not as something where you're just good at it or bad at it, but you get better at it. Hmm. So, uh, so I do, uh, I do, a much better job now of estimating how much time various things will take. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, I was earlier, I was, it was, there was much more wishful thinking in my planning. Mm -hmm. And I think I've got better at that. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and then you play little uh, tricks like uh, uh, you tie up some, uh, some fun thing with some boring thing. Okay. You tie up uh, some, there's a boring thing, you break it up into chunks and then you just have to solve, do one little bit, which is, which you can do in 15 minutes. I mean, mm -hmm. these are all written up by zillions of people. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I do use those tricks once in a while. Yeah. yeah. Um, and do you struggle with time management? No, I think that's one thing I'm good at. I don't know if I'm as good as you. You seem to be an expert, but... <laughs> Uh, I think I'm pretty good. Like I'm, 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 you know, within a pool of, you know, research scientists, I'm probably uh, at the best people at doing it. I like to think, I think that's one thing I do really well anyways. Mm. Uh, I'm very systematic about putting things in my calendar as much as I can. Mm. And, um, and I keep track of things that are ongoing in my mailbox and I'm like making sure that things that are, Mark this on red or like stay like that until I've actually addressed them. And mm -hmm. I think that's one part of my skill set that I do a good job at. And that is partly why probably I'm organizing conferences and things like that. I'm just systematic enough about organizing my time. Yeah. Um, do you struggle with time management? Uh, not a lot. Again, I think like, like there's of course not never enough hours in the day, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think it's, it's, I don't see it. I guess I don't see it as a struggle with time management. I see it that I always have to be very, very vigilant about what I commit to doing versus the time I have and mm -hmm. be very um, like sort of ruthlessly prioritize. That's mm -hmm. really, I think, <clears throat> something that's perhaps is the closest I have to a superpower. Um, but just like in this time, in this moment, what's the thing that I need to be doing and, and do that mm -hmm. uh, very yeah. diligently. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you struggle with time management? Um, hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's something I always work at and I always try to take as many, you know, courses in it or read books or chapters about it. I, I just, even though I've kind of, been doing that for a lot of years now. Well, not not too often, but I, I I periodically go and get a refresher and you know read some book that I've liked about time management, and I always find it helpful. Um, I mean, I wish I could say I'm just great at it. I I, I work at it hard. Um, I guess what I'm really working at now is to try to. I mean, there's a certain expectation now that I'm going to enjoy what I do, and so I'm I'm struggling to spend time doing what I enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. And what about time management? Do you struggle with time management? Yeah, um, I think it's mainly because uh, some of the things that I expect to take certain amount of time end up taking longer than what I had expected. And then um, especially towards the end of the day, I have like a, a lot of mini tasks, uh, like replying to this, replying to that, that, discussing this, discussing that. <laughs> and then because there is like a bunch of those um, and because like research, for example, ends up taking longer than what I had expected, I almost have no time left to attend to those things. And my like towards the end of the day, I also start having like neck pain and things like that. So even if it is like, it's a thing that's only going to take me like 15 minutes to reply. I don't dare to do that because I feel like I will end up ruining my next day because of my headache. Um, so all of that, like a chunk of like things get uh, shifted to the next day. And then what I end up doing is I end up taking care of those things first 
uh, mm. like instead of doing the research on the next day because i feel like i those things are already overdue because i was planning to do them yesterday um and then <laughs> research gets shifted <laughs> so uh, basically we got of like uh, this kind of like a vicious cycle i tend to like lag behind on like mainly research because the other things i end up taking care of because those are more urgent um so yeah i feel like that essentially ends up delaying my research a little bit yeah yeah do you struggle with time management um i do not struggle with time management uh now i will tell you like all like procrastination and time management is only because i've evolved like if you asked me this 15 years ago yes and yes <laughs> Mm-hmm. um but now i just can't afford to um i can't afford for things to slip that are really important um and so i do prioritize at least with respect to things that i have to do um mm-hmm. and i make sure i have time for those yeah yeah um, do you struggle with time management absolutely um all the time so um i find like i said the things i want to be better at many things are like l- using your, those little chunks of time effectively you know there's some at uh, the 30 minutes honestly if you just get into it there's stuff you can do right like you can answer a few emails maybe stuff that doesn't take that much time you can maybe read a certain amount of something i don't know so i want to be better at that um and then like just planning out what is a realistic thing that's going to happen between now and a certain you know whatever a certain date right and and actually right now i'm i'm having a lot of you know i find myself doing a lot of administrative things or mm. things that i find really important but like you know for research it's always you know it's not urgent sometimes right? there's stuff i want to do there's stuff i need to get done i have a, a bunch of long term projects like with a bunch of collaborators and stuff and i find when i have collaborators and regular meetings it forces me to like get stuff done for that project that's like a long term project that i don't have a, a deadline in front of me tomorrow so i'm finding it hard to figure out like how do i lo- i a lot time to do the things i need to do the, the exploratory things whether it is you know exploratory stuff or just actual stuff i need to do for these long term projects when something is not due like you know, when there's not a, a clear deadline next week or tomorrow or whatever and a lot of times um it's really interesting like if i have a long time like like mondays and fridays when i got have meetings right sometimes i'll get like i'll really get stuff done and you know like i'll just you know i read this i wrote that whatever other times i'm like oh my god i have the whole day like and they have no meetings it's so great i'm going to go to the coffee shop i'm going to you know just read this and before i know it's like 1 p.m. and i'm like wait what did i do it's 1 p.m. <laughs> it's like you know so like so it's, it's both ends of the spectrum it's like if i have just 30 minutes um somehow i don't i don't like use it effectively if i have the whole day and i'm like oh god like i can do this i can do that and i end up not necessarily using it effectively um so there's very few times where i'm like i know you have the thing where you say you know you should have calendars not to do list like you should block block out from this time to this time and do this from this time and you know um and i i i do think that's like yeah that's that's very effective like that's much more effective but there are really very few days where i like actually get the stuff i want to get done and i'm like feel like oh that was good this is what i wanted to do and i think <laughs> no you know yeah so yeah. oh, definitely in fact i think effective time management is honestly the most important thing it's it's the most important thing for research i honestly think you know cuz a lot of people i mean this is just a rant for me a lot of people talk about ideas like creativity is really important too right but so people say oh so so stole my idea or somebody so and i'm like i mean a lot of it is about execution it's it's really hard for me to understand how an idea can be the thing right like it's just all about the mechanics of the execution yeah. which a lot of people sort of discount hmm. so i think like project management time management figuring out like what makes sense what doesn't make sense is like the most important thing not just for you but also like your well-being so that's something that i kind of really want to get better at yeah i also waste a lot of time just i found that you know when i was in an undergrad like when i was in college 
even when I was working at Apple, I used to play piano every single day. I made sure, I don't know, like at Apple at 4 p.m. or 5 p.m., and I had a lot of work to do, right? Or like when I was um, in, in college, even when I had like a midterm season or whatever, I would still go in there and I would practice, and it was just like a thing. Now I have a piano in my house. I don't remember the last time I played piano, and I and and, and uh, it's not that I don't have the time. I'm pretty sure I can make the time for it, but I'm not really scheduling it. To and so I find myself that I'm not doing these things that you just do for a while. Like you 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 know you have a long attention span. Like you're reading a book for a while. You're mm-hmm. like playing a piece for a while. Where I used to have these times where like I would start playing a piece and I don't know how much time had passed. Like because I was just like really focused on it. Mm-hmm. And I, I now I'm way too distracted. Like I'm on Twitter, or I see this thing, or I see this article, and I see this other article, and I, I just like I feel like I'm I'm much more scattered. Like in terms of my um, like I'm much more scattered brain, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, do you struggle with time management? No, I don't. I don't. Not not too much. I think. <laughs> um, do you struggle with time management? Um, yeah, I mean, I think now <laughs> the pandemic has thankfully opened my eyes in that sense. <laughs> uh, earlier, it was, uh, I don't even know how, right? I mean, thankful, uh, my admin, again, is great. Like, over time, I've told her what's important, what's not. And so she's been great at managing that. Uh, uh, for me, it's always this excitement of, okay, there is there are more people to meet, <laughs> <laughs> There is more to learn uh, and uh, how to say no uh, yeah. was much harder. Uh, and now I have uh, tried to develop that more because mm-hmm. there is, uh, you know, there's a lot of requests I get, uh, as I'm sure you're also on the same boat. And I want to ask myself how, you know, how many people am I helping through this, mm-hmm. right? So it does matter, like, how much is the reach of the platform uh and it also matters to me how much i learn from that experience mm-hmm. right yeah. so it uh, shouldn't be that uh, i'm only feel like i'm giving if i'm not <laughs> coming and learning in that process and that's why i enjoy events that are collaborative right that have panels especially from different areas i tend to attend conferences that are not just in core machine learning but mm-hmm. broader uh, so those are the ones I enjoy the most. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Do you struggle with time management? Hmm. I think having commitments where other people depend on me for things is highly motivating. I don't want to let people down, right? So there could be things uh, that, and so if, if someone is depending on me for something, then, you know, there's no struggle. I really, hard. it's harder to, make time for the things that are important, but they're not urgent, whether it might be for you, for your organization, for others. And I think those are the ones where it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's something that I have to think hard about how to make space for things like that. Hmm. Yeah. And do you struggle with time management? Mm, not as much i think i mean i think i have a pretty good sense of like where i should spend time in large chunks and fitting in lots of other little things when i have spare moments is something that i don't think about too much but i feel like i'm sort of okay at it Hmm. i know you have a like a very comprehensive time management calls and so on. Yeah, yeah, that is a system. It's naturally just evolved into what it is, but it's worked well for me. Yeah. Um, do you struggle with time management? Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, one. Um, yes, certainly. Um, I I think uh, so. You know that you have this uh, this uh, calendar note not to do this. I I found it very. Uh, helpful, uh, but I have really hard time to implement that. Um, for example, uh, because there are many uh, interruption uh, that would have uh, like usually unexpected. Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, I may have a kind of an afternoon that where I clear all the meetings. Uh, no, no meetings. I want to do something. Um, but for example, it could be like the the kids don't want to go to nap. 
then suddenly the, the whole thing is ruined. Um, yeah. You couldn't really do get anything done. Um, so you have to kind of uh, push back, uh, replan. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so kind of manage, time management certainly um, is, is kind of, it's very hard for me. Um, uh, I think it happens for all the, all the people with young kids at home. So um, yeah, but I, I'm still learning that as try to cut down more, um, more unnecessary tasks. For mm -hmm. example, right now, I, uh, I have to turn down the, for example, the, the NSF review panels, I have to turn down down, um, kind of keep the, uh, keep the only the uh, essential task, like mm -hmm. example, not grow the group, uh, uh, but focus on more, uh, more on ex ex existing students. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of try to cut this uh, additional uh, opportunities. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense.